Hi guys, welcome back to our channel, the number one place for people who love design, art and all things creative. I'm Jacqueline and I'm an interior architect and designer here at DMB. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to set a table for Christmas. I'm going to walk you through how I created this beautiful red and gold Christmas theme for our Christmas tablescape. Feel free to use this as a step-by-step -step guide so that you can make your 2020 Christmas table settings even more spectacular than last year's. This Christmas interior design video is the fifth in our Vlogmas series, so feel free to subscribe so that you can enjoy more of our holiday-inspired content. That being said, let's jump into the video. The first step is to choose a theme for your Christmas tablescape. You've probably worked out by now that we've gone for a red and gold Christmas decor, which I would say is more on the traditional side, especially the colours, but I do have some modern pieces which I've added to the design which I'll show you in a bit. What I would suggest when choosing a theme is to make sure that it matches with the other Christmas decorations in your home. For example, we have a lot of red ornaments throughout the house and also a lot of neutral tones, which is why I chose the gold decorations for the table. Make sure that you have a clear idea of what theme you're going for and then you can use websites like Pinterest and YouTube to give you some more ideas and inspiration. My next step is to place an iron table tablecloth onto your table. Other than napkins, the tablecloth is the only red element I have within the table setting, just because I think that it's big enough and bold enough as it is. We definitely don't need any more red decorations. The tablecloth I have has a satin finish and has this Christmas holly pattern as well, which I think is very subtle, but just adds a little piece of Christmas. Step three is to add a runner to the center of your table and make sure that it contrasts the color of your tablecloth. The one we have is gold, but any other color that contrasts the tablecloth will work really well. I actually layer two on top of each other just because I think that the one we have isn't opaque enough to create a strong gold effect. But to be completely honest with you, you're not really going to see the table runner that much because I just load it up with decorations. Then just to finish off the fabric table pieces, I lay out these placements where our guests are going to be sitting. At the moment I've laid out four because at the moment I'm not too sure who's coming to our house for Christmas. It may be six, but I'll see closer to the time. Next, choose what kind of decorations you want as your centerpiece. Now I know some people like to choose one main centerpiece and have that as the only thing, but I like to lay it across the whole of the table runner just for some more drama. The first thing I'm going to add is a berry garland to bring back a bit of that red color. And I actually like to double them up as it's kind of simple just as one on its own. And because they're a little bit too long, I tend to just bend them backwards a little bit and double them up on the ends so that they don't hit the plates. When I double them up, I also like to start adding some height to the table by bending the sprigs upwards. To add even more dimension, I add these gold metal Christmas trees to the centre as well. These ones are slightly larger and have a matte effect, whereas the other ones are very sparkly and slightly shorter. And I try to place them so that they're intertwined within the berry garland. That sounds easier than it actually is to do. To add even more Christmas trees to the table, I have these really pretty golden candles. They're just so gorgeous, I've never had the heart to actually light them, as I just wanted them to keep their Christmas tree shape. But they're really sweet, aren't they? And they come in these three different designs.
Then what I do to fill out any gaps in the garland and the candles is to add some festive potpourri. Now this one isn't strong smelling at all and I've had it for about four years, so the smells drifted away, which is actually the perfect amount. It just gives off a cinnamon and spice smell, which really spreads across the whole of the dining room and also I think it's a nice way to invite the guests in for Christmas dinner. One of the last things I add to the Christmas centerpiece are these gold candles. I like them because they have different heights and I think that they just add more gold to the overall look. And I also thought I'd just show you quickly how I fold my napkins for the setting. I created a kind of fanned out effect. So what I do is just to pleat them so that it creates an accordion kind of effect. I just tie this glittery gold bow around them and then cut the ends off to create this big bow kind of effect. The 11th step for me is just to add any cutlery I want out for the dinner. Afterwards, I place these gorgeous crystal champagne glasses with some wine glasses and I also add these tiny glasses for some brandy or any Christmas spirit that we have. And I know it looks kind of over the top with the glasses, but it's Christmas, right? And to finish off the table setting, I add some Christmas crackers to make sure that the celebrations are ready to begin. I haven't actually bought any Christmas crackers yet because to be honest with you, I haven't seen any that I like, but when I do, I'm gonna buy some small gold ones just to sit next to the knife. I hope you like my red and gold Christmas table setting for 2020 and I'm posting another Christmas home decor video for you guys this Sunday. And if you like this video then please give it a big thumbs up because you really do support our channel by doing that. If you're new then welcome, on this channel we talk about interior design, architecture, illustration, content creation and graphic design. So if any of that interests you, make sure to subscribe to see videos just like this one. I hope that you found some of my Christmas table setting tips helpful and let me know in the comments how you guys plan on decorating your table this holiday season. Okay guys, that's it for today's Vlogmas video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!